Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. I don't normally cover the kick Vic, I stand with Vic stuff until it involves me. Until people drag me into this. And this is what happened. This is what's happened. Now, for those of you who might be unfamiliar, Vic Mignogna is a well-respected and completely witch-hunted, in my opinion, voice actor Star Trek fan filmmaker and, and all around fan favorite at a lot of these conventions, the anime conventions, right? If anybody who really, really wants to know absolutely everything that's going on, every detail, every, every drama, every piece of legal, everything, I highly, highly recommend Hero Hey, hey. that umbrella guy, Yellow Flash, Nick Ricada. And thank you so much for subscribing. I left my notifications on. Yes. All the, all of these channels that are really, really doing the best, they're the best job covering this. I know there's more, I'm gonna forget all of you guys, but I'm just trying to remember, keep everything. This is my third take of trying to deal with this and try and give you guys some background. Now, now, Mr. Mignogna is a very popular anime voice actor, very popular Star Trek fan filmmaker, and this is how I know who he is, because he made Star Trek Continues, and in my opinion, it is probably the best Star Trek fan film I've ever seen, and it's not even a fan film, it's just season four of TOS, in my opinion, it's just with different actors, and... 40 years after the fact. It's amazing. It is brilliant. It is. It was probably about 45 years after the fact now. It is a continuation. It has the spirit and the love of Star Trek. And that is why I know who this man is. And that's why I made this video here that you see on my Twitter feed. Also, YouTube, 100% fair use, um, legal use to use my Twitter feed. This is all public information. Nothing anybody put out here is something that they don't want out. Because it's public, you know, I'm not giving anybody's names, anybody's anything that they haven't given me. That being said, <laughs> this video that I made here, that I tweeted out and I apparently got demonetized, probably got flagged or whatever, my stuff always does. I made a video saying I, th I threw my hat in support of Midnight's Edge after they made a video about Alec Peters. Now, for those of you unaware why Alec Peters is important, and, and this is kind of a side tangent of the Kick Vic people, he is a very vocal Kick Vic person. Also made, um, or at least attempted to make a Star Trek fan film. It's, it's got about a half an hour of the prelude to Axanar. I have had some personal encounters with him being less than um, civil to me. So the, the, I think nobody nobody's unfamiliar with that little beef between me and Mr. Peters. I had to, definitely had to throw my hat in the ring for support of Midnight's Edge, though, because they did release an interview with Mr. Peters that was recorded about three days before my encounter with him, my, my beef with, my drama with him, and if you guys want to know any of that, that's all, that's all on YouTube to watch. That's not important right now. What's, what's more important is that people are just blindly jumping on this Kick Vic thing and trying to convince me of that, and, um... <laughs> you, you picked the wrong harpy there. Now, now Mr. Mignano, most of the people who are on the Kick Vic side tend to um, throw a whole bunch of false accusations and try and bully and intimidate people via Twitter to throw him under the bus for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know what it gains them. I don't know why they care so much. My stance has always been, if you actually cared, go to the authorities. I'm not a police officer. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a judge. I can't do anything about this other than monetize your stupidity. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So, of course, this person I've never heard of who doesn't follow me, who's absolutely nobody, comes out of woodwork saying you should not stand with Vic. Of course, I respond, sorry, but the other option is a witch hunt against someone who might be innocent. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> right? And, and like I said, might be innocent. I don't know. I don't know. Guilty, guilty until proven innocent doesn't work well for me. It's innocent until proven guilty. You have to prove somebody's guilty in a court of law, and then I will assume, or you know, even then, sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, the evidence was shit. If I were on the jury, whatever. I'm not on the jury on this one. It's not for me to decide. Not, not only that, is it not for me to decide. It's not for you to decide unless you were a victim. So you need to butt your little happy ass out as well. So they respond, innocent, at best he's a creepy old diva who has a horrible reputation for being difficult at cons and likes to get too mm -mm, familiar with young girls. That you stand with a man like that is gross as mm -mm. <gasps> Well, mister, well, mister, mister FYI, whoever you are, I say that's not for me to decide. I'm not a judge. Like I said, might, in, 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 you know, and I even emphasized, I put the little asterisk there, might be innocent. We don't know that. We don't know that. I've always said we don't know that. But what we do know is that nobody's ever actually gone to the authorities who were victimized. 
And the only people who have gone to the authorities are people like Mr. Mignogna, who has gone and, and given court papers. And, and this is why I highly recommend Yellow Flash, The Umbrella Guy, Rikeda, Hirohei, all these channels that are covering the entire lawsuit against, or that now he's filing against people for defaming him or attempting to defame him. And, and those people, those people, the only people who are actually going to court are Jamie Marchi, or is it Marky, Ron Toye, Monica Rial, Caitlin uh, Saucedo, Bar aka Mars Girl. Those are the only people who have actually been served with anything, as far as we know, as far as we know. Because those people are public figures, who are slandering the man. So why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why would I do that when the only court stuff and the only court information, and this is me who just watches this for fun at night. You know, I watch Rikeda Law. I watch, I watch Flash and Tug and I watch Hero. I watch these guys just for fun. And my off time when I'm not covering Star Trek and, and Star Wars and Ghostbusters and Bill and Ted, right? I'm not even an anime person, but I, I care about this because I like the drama. I like watching the drama unfold. And I hate... Stupid! I hate stupid. I really, really hate stupid. And people are stupid and they don't understand anything. So here we are. This is why we're making this video. Because people are stupid. <laughs> but I said, like I said, it's not for me to judge. He might be innocent. If you want to hold for more evidence on him being a diva, this is not for me. Like I said, this, I, I don't want your evidence. I don't need it. I am not the judge. I'm not the jury. He never did anything to me. I've never met the man. He's never done anything to me, and any interaction with I've had with I've had that I've had have been like through the mod from his Facebook uh, Star Trek Continues group, and I've heard a couple of things come back to me, and they've always been positive and wonderful, because the man seems to me to be very well well meaning, well respected. Yeah, he's a little huggy, but that's all. I mean, what what? So what? We're gonna we're gonna throw somebody under the bus because he hugged somebody? I don't know that. I don't know that. I've never met the man, and that seems to be all the evidence I've seen. Period. Period. <laughs> but but here's the thing. If you want to hold for more evidence of him being a diva at cons um, and the more serious allegations for Ogman's sake, fine. Why, why, why being a diva? Why is being a diva at a convention um, something to get him thrown out for? Really, really. If he is a diva at a convention, why is, why is that? I'm sorry, he's a performer? Maybe. Maybe he's a performer. I don't know. I don't go to a lot of conventions. <laughs> really, I don't. Especially anime ones, because anime is not my thing. If you guys like it, great. This is why I don't cover a lot of this stuff, because he's more known as an anime voice actor for playing Broly. Broly? Is it Broly or Broly? Broly in Dragon Ball Z. He plays, um, I can't remember the name of the character. He plays in Ruby. He plays a lot of characters. Attack on Titan, he's played, you know, he's played a lot of characters over the years in anime for the, for the, um, dubbed versions. He does the dubbed and uh, American English, the English voice acting. Wow, words. I can't do words today because I get so mad at these people. But yes, he should be unwelcome for that alone. Well, that's not for me to decide, you know. And, and again, I, I, I don't have a dog in the fight of if he's kicked out of conventions or not because A, I'm not going to go to an anime convention. And B, it's not my business, you know. If, if I go to convention and I want to hug a celebrity, that's on me. And if I don't want to hug a celebrity and I'm uncomfortable around people, I will not. You know, I need to be a, a effing adult here. We got to be an adult and take responsibility for what we're comfortable with and what we're not. And if I go to convention and I don't want to be hugged because, yeah, I still have some anxiety. I still have some issues with people. I will just not go. I will just either not go or I will back off. I will say I'm not a huggy person. I will take some responsibility for myself. But anyway, th that's a side tangent. That's a side tangent. We're go I'm getting back off topic. So I respond, uh, again, I'm not the jury, there is no trial here except for the people like you trying to slander the man. I can forward this to Ty Beard and you can suit as well if you really, really want to. And Ty Beard is the attorney representing Mr. Mignogna in this, in this case. So if you do see a lot of this stuff, please forward it to him. If you do see a lot of people just trying to, just trying to crap all over Mr. Mignogna and you don't feel it's right, if you're on the, of, of the side of logic and reason and law, the side of the law is on <laughs> Mr. Mignogna here because nobody's ever gone to the police with any allegations against him. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Nobody, as far as I know, has ever gone to the police with any allegations against him. Ever. They're just going on Twitter trying to convince us too. It's like, what? what are, are, are you stupid? Are you stupid? Did you just get here? Are you new? Are you new to the planet? Do you need, do you need to help? Are you, do you need an adult? Right? Because that's what a lot of these people, they just need adults because they can't because it's hard. <sighs> 
So somebody who says, oh man, if you're going to start suing people for saying mean stuff about Vic, Tybeer can start with uh, us in the Dreadnought. We've been writing way worse opinions that he gets too close or playing the all, mor all moral is effing gross. You know, and if you want to, if you want, if you, you know what, if you want to have an opinion of somebody, that's on you. But when you start there trying to bully and intimidate and, and, and come to other people, that's the big thing. You're trying to come to me to change my mind. You don't have that right. You do not have that right. If you want to put on your Twitter that, hey, you think Vic did this and that, that's thoughts on you. Coming to me is only going to get a slap down, right? Is only going to get the wrath of the harpy here. And, and you don't want for me to go full mecha harpy on you right now. I'm, I'm, at, about, I'm at about seven. No, I, don't th I don't think anybody's seen me about a 10. May may maybe there's a couple of live streams that are deleted that uh, where I did go about a 10 against Mr. Peters against the Kick Vic stuff. <sighs> no, even then, that's probably about, probably about an eight and a half or a nine. I don't think you guys have ever seen me at full 10 yet. <sighs> so here, this isn't a trial here at all. Twitter isn't a court of law. At best, it's a court of public opinion. And it even shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be there. I only use it to promote my videos and interact with you guys, and then I gotta interact with these assholes, too. Also, uh, also, for all this bitching about Kick Vic Witch Hunt, I'm waiting for evidence that, that, uh, threaten, uh, that threatening to forward tweets isn't engaging in one either. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what they're trying to say here, but yeah. So, this person jumps in. It's only slander if it's not true. I'm like, well... That's not for me to decide again. It's like, see, like I said, still not up for me to decide. That's why I stand with Vic, because the alternative is a witch hunt that I will not, not, not take part in. Thank you very much. God, I'm Brie Larson here. Thank you very much. I will not take part in this witch hunt against Mr. Manana. What makes you sure it's a witch hunt and not years of sexual assault coming back to haunt him? Well, because you didn't go to the fucking police. That's why. That's why. Like I said, if you did anything, go to the police. Why are you bothering me with this on Twitter? I'm not the judge, cop. Why tell me? What's the purpose? Maybe if you cared so much, go to the cops. Right? And that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing I can stress. If you actually care, if you actually are concerned about somebody's well-being, go to the authorities. You don't go to me. You don't go to Twitter. I'm not. What What am I going to do? I'm going to I'm going to play guitar at you. What am I going to do? I'm going to rant with a writing crop. I am not the police. I'm a girl on the YouTube that talks about Star Trek. OK, I talk about Star Trek with Midnight's Edge. I, I can't. What, what can I do? What can I do? Right. Nothing. Nothing. And I'm also smarter than you. So keep that in mind. I'm also smarter than you kick Vic people. I, oh, my writing crop is getting unwrapped. I didn't know it. I'm smarter than you people. And you know it. And you know I'm not going to tolerate this crap for one second. And if anything actually came out, if people ever cared, how many months has this been going on? This has been going on since February. And we're in July now. This is July 1st. We're in July 1st now. And they're still going on about, oh, he's guilty. He's guilty. You should do something. You should, you, we're, we're trying to commit. Why try to convince me? Go to the police. Oh, but you won't because you're, you're just sitting on Twitter to virtue signal. You're just twitting on, sitting on Twitter for likes. And I, lo I love how few likes they have. They're having to like their own damn video or, or comments, right? <laughs> uh, and not that I have any because I just went and threw this up on screen right after it happened, right? But like I said, if he did anything, go to the police. Why are you bothering me with this on Twitter? I'm not a judge, cop. Why tell me? What's the purpose? Maybe if you all cared so much, you'd go to the cops. Because they don't care. That's the biggest thing. They don't actually care. They care about getting their little likes. And they care about getting their little retweets. And they care about getting on and bullying and intimidating. Because they got nothing else. They don't have an opinion of their own. They can't look at this objectively. They can't separate themselves from whatever. And, and they're... And they're jumping to a conclusion protecting nobody they're protecting nobody and a made-up victim here because they don't like it and that's what it really feels like to me is like they're trying to protect nobody just because they don't like this with the with the with the virtuous oh i'm trying to protect these underage girls if you really cared maybe you should have gone to the police i mean that's all, that's all i'm saying if you really really cared but no you don't you just want to hear and bully me on twitter that's all you want to do and i don't take kindly to bullies <laughs> at all. I've never cow cowered for a bully and I'm not about to. Never done it. I'm never going to. So he says, you post on Twitter that you stand with a sexual predator. Actually, no. No, there's no evidence to say he's a sexual predator. He's never been convicted. He's never even gone. He's never even been served. 
There has never been an actual legal investigation. There was a little little uh, corporate one from Funimation that really didn't show anything. But no, there's never been an actual legal investigation against this man, as far as I can tell. Because nobody's actually coming forward who's an actual victim in this. Because you got too many idiots like this fighting on their behalf. And, and, and it's harmful to any actual victims if there are any. But I'm starting to believe that maybe there aren't. Maybe there aren't. You know, you're just convincing me that he's innocent. The more you, the more you try and tell me he's guilty, right? The more you do that. <laughs> you post on Twitter, you stand with a sexual predator. And I'm surprised that people are responding to you on Twitter. As someone who's been sexually assaulted, gotta love that go-to line. So, so many reasons why we don't. That you haven't even looked to us, why we don't, why, why we don't says a lot. You don't get to talk to me like that. You know nothing about me. You know nothing about what I've gone through in my past. And I've already talked about this like one time and that's enough. You do not get to say that to me ever. I'm breaking my riding crop. Fuck them. Where's, where's my, where's my other ones? I got two more. I got two more. We got two more. You don't get to say this to me. I have also been through this and I that's the last thing I wanted was some asshole that I don't know dragging it out all right that's the last thing I fucking wanted so you don't get to talk to me like that and and and, and you, you'll 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 realize that all of this all of this virtue signaling and all this crazy drama is just making any actual victims not want to come forward because of you crazy people who just want to bully and intimidate and harass, right? And, and there's a reason why I'm not responding to these fuckers. There's a reason why I'm putting this on a video because, you know what, I'm not going to waste my time with their crap. You can, you can fucking pay me for this, bitch, because I'm not dealing with your shit. I'm not dealing with your shit. You have no right to bully and intimidate and assume anything. Anything. <laughs> about me. You have no right. Period. <sighs> people must pay for something. or pay, People must pay for saying mean things to my hero. And there shouldn't be any legal standings for my demands for punishment. I don't understand what that means. I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't understand who you're talking about. He's not my hero. I don't even like anime. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> People just pay for saying thing, mean things to my hero. It's like, no, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm, I'm doing this live. We're doing this live. Live. Mm. I don't even like anime. And anybody who knows, knows I don't even like anime. I know him from Star Trek Continues, and I know him from these crazy people. And the more crazy people are trying to tell me that something's wrong is the more I <clears throat> gotta get bring out the writing crop for these idiots. Do it. Yeah, I'll forward this to Ty Beard all you want. So maybe he'll know he has to stand up when addressing the court now. I don't know what you're talking about. Please sue me. I had a person shriek that I'm defaming Ty by pointing out that he's only in it for the money. <sighs> whatever, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't have a dog in the fight to sue you. I'm just going to monetize you. I'm just going to monetize your ass. <gasps> ah! <laughs> but yes, yes, so, so this is more and more of it, right? This is more of it. You should stop shoving crayons up your nose. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to break my desk with these people. I'm going to start breaking my desk. <sighs> So here we are, this crazy person. It's all there. You still do you read that and still defend him. I'm not reading anything. I am not the police, you fucking piece of shit. I'm not reading anything. I'm not the cops. Like I said, again, why send this to me? I'm not the authorities. This isn't my or your business. Go to the police like a fucking adult. Get off Twitter. Stop, stop trying to defame someone. I will not watch any evidence against him. I'm not the jury. Like I said, stop harassing me with this. I just have a list of people to block now. There's video images of underage girls whispering in ears and kissing cheeks. Well, that's on you. That's on you for watching it. Why are you watching it? Yeah, and why are you watching it? So, so, so you're watching child porn then. Yeah, so you're watching child porn. That's all. That's what I'm saying. And feel guilty. Guilty, maybe. 
It's like, I'm not watching it. I used to all adamant. I don't remember. That's why you're so adamant about throwing him under the bus. We're doing live. We're doing this live. This is this is me live interacting with these assholes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to be watching child porn. Thank you very much. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. And if you can, are convinced that it's something inappropriate, go to the authorities. <laughs> It's your place to support the guy, but you don't feel informing your opinion by listening to experience of others is pertinent. No, because it's not for me. Well, like I said, like I said, the only thing you're doing, the only evidence, you, you, like I said, how do I word this? How do I word this? How do I word this? It's not up for me to decide. I'm not the jury. I'm not the jury. If you care, go to the police. If you actually care, go to the cops. But they don't. But they don't actually care. And that's the biggest point of this video. They don't actually care. They want to bully and intimidate and try and convince you of their side like it's a thing that we have any right talking about. Like it's a thing we have any right jumping on one side or the other. And when the I stand with Vic side is the only one that actually stands with evidence and going to court and nobody's even take nobody's even sending this to the fucking police and i'm gonna i'm gonna respond to this it's like seriously 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 send that to the cops if you actually care if you actually care but clearly you don't clearly you don't but clearly you don't this is me typing <clears throat> But clearly you don't. It's fine. I will just monetize your stupidity. <sighs> I'm, I'm done with this thread. I'm done with this thread. That is the type of shit that we got to deal with here on YouTube just for making one little statement one way or another. I am not part of your little witch hunt. I am not going to throw somebody under the bus that I have no dog in a fight for. And, and you know, every... See, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing that they don't understand. I've been watching the evidence. I've been watching the quote unquote evidence. And every time, and, and, and so, so what? If, if you're, you're, you're going after a guy for giving somebody a hug is, is basically all they're saying. Oh, but she was underage. Yeah. And any evidence of these underage girls were actually photoshopped and used against the quote unquote supposed victims permission. And not only that, she said, no, my parents were here. This was fine. He did nothing inappropriate. You stole my image. You stole my image. And, and that is the evidence that I have seen is, is that the gig Vic people are stealing and faking images. And there's countless records of this. And if you, if you guys do care, please check out Riceda, Nick Riceda's streams for all the legal information, because he's covering this as an objective, you know, legal expert. Yellow Flash, Tug, Hero Hey, all these channels are covering the day in and day outs of everything that's going on. They're covering the Twitter drama. They're covering everything. And every now and then I get dragged into these because I stand on the side of what's right. And what's right is going to the authorities if you believe you've actually been wronged. If you believe you've actually been wronged, there are support groups for that if you need the help. There are people you can contact if you have been victimized. I'm not the person to do that, though. I'm not the person to come to. I'm not going to go and defame somebody. I'm not going to defame somebody or tell you he's innocent or guilty because he deserves a day in court if he is. Oh, yeah, that's right. The only people who are getting going to court are the people who are attacking him. Gee, what does that tell us? What does that tell us? That tells me a lot. I don't know what it tells you guys, but it tells me a lot. I am Mecha Random 42 P.O. Box 1566 Love in Colorado. Send your angry letters there. Otherwise, shut your goddamn mouths, kick Vic people. I'm sick of you. God, I'm sick of you. I will see you at Star Trek Las Vegas in uh, the end of the month. Holy crap, it's already July. <laughs> I will see you at Star Trek Las Vegas. I will see you on Midnight's Edge after dark. We talk more about Star Trek than the Vic Mignogna drama on this channel. And, and as always, I will see you guys later. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!